This is uh, Lake Okarari. Well, my dairy operation is about two k's up the road, and this property was purchased as a support block. It's basically one of the last remaining lakes in the area, and it's Pete Lake. If we don't protect it now, it's going to disappear, and that will be a loss for the community, which is why we started the planting project. A previous owner of the property had lowered the lake area to make all this low-lying land here less swampy and easy to cultivate, but if the blackberries and the willows and everything had taken over, they'd throw in the fish pond lilies into the lake because that would look nice. The problem with the water lily is that it's highly invasive and the lily in the end starts smothering and taking up the available water space where we could have native fish and bird life catching insects. So on this bank that has been weed matted, we're looking at about 6,000 trees. The bank behind us, which is not weed matted, had about 4,000 trees planted. So all up, we're looking at about 10,000 trees. This property here is a prime example of how a high input dairy farm can be managed sustainably. Ian, he's one of those sorts of blokes that whatever he does, he does properly. And that's evident by what he's done here with the lake. It's been a huge effort to get this thing up and running to where it is. The restoration has only been two years in the progress, so they've done a huge amount of work in that time. Changing biodiversity happens over a large period of time. You can't just plant the trees and expect things to change overnight. We have massive community support. This year alone, we've had 150 community members come through the site and help with planting, weeding and maintenance jobs. If you're going to start a project like this, it's a lot of work. Um, probably 6,000 hours have gone into it. Even the business community in Matamata and Tirao have either sent staff or bought a handful of trees or done something. Some of my volunteers have definitely not planted the tree before. I try and make sure that we do tree planting lessons before we start the day's work, so we show them actually how you plant a tree. And every now and then I have to take a volunteer aside and go, I know you're trying to help, but can I show you again? Uh, I like native trees. They're just something that appeal to me and part of my life. And I'm attempting in my lifetime to recreate little areas that will leave for future generation the sort of plants and little areas that I enjoyed. We'll have 12 or 15 tuis there on a day sometimes in the springtime now, which is quite amazing when we didn't have them before. But for me, sustainability goes much further than looking at you know, plantings and, and what we're doing here and we've focused on because sustainability is about preserving diversity in everything we do. 